Right, today we're going to be comparing these two jacks from Vivor. Uh, both are air powered. One's the new sort of air bag style and then this other one's just an air compressor powered or pump powered bottle jack. So I'm going to be curious to test them because I've got a little over 16 inches of clearance from the ground to my sliders. So we're going to see if these things can reach it and then if they can lift the truck off the ground high enough to, you know, change a wheel or a tire if the need arises. So we're going to test these two out. We're going to see how fast they raise the truck, if they can reach the frame of the truck, and just sort of compare the features for both these things on this video today. So stay tuned to see these two jacks in action and to make a decision on which one's best for you. So we're gonna give the airbag style a shot. I did just test it a second ago. It's it's pretty high, but I don't think it's gonna lift the wheels off the ground for the truck, but you will see how fast it inflates. So if you had a lower vehicle, this would be great for like easy lifting. But that's about as high as it gets. So it will not touch my frame rails. It's probably about 15-ish inches is the height. But again, if you had a normal height SUV stock type vehicle, this thing would probably lift it really quick. You could get some jack stands under there and be doing work in a matter of seconds, which is pretty nice. Then you just turn the red thing, let the air out of it, and it goes back down. So there's no effort, which is really nice. All right, so as you saw, the airbag style one, super cool, only goes about 15 inches high. So you'd have to get under an axle or something like that on a lifted vehicle to get that off the ground. But if you were working on something in your driveway, it would be awesome and really quick to lift up a vehicle. Now on the bottle jack style, uh, one thing is you can unscrew this top to get yourself a little bit of extra height on the jack, which is really nice. Um, one thing that I noticed is it does have like a higher flow fitting on it, so it doesn't fit on my air compressor. So I'm just going to use the uh, normal handle for it to jack this up just to see if it will reach the frame. But with this extension on the top that's built in, which is really nice, it shouldn't have any problem reaching the side of the truck and lifting it up. Now whether we get the wheels and tires off the ground, that's another story, but we're going to give it a shot and we'll see how it does. All right, so that one definitely got the truck a lot higher. Still with the, the flex in the suspension, I was not able to get the wheels and tires off the ground. So again, if you have like a big truck that's stock, that's not quite as tall as this, probably be fine. One thing to note that is a little bit sketchy is the top is made of metal, so it is a little bit slippy. As I was lifting it up, there was a moment where it kind of slid a little bit on the frame. So you just want to be really careful with it and make sure that you're using jack stands in addition to the bottle jack. Um, but again, for most vehicles, if you're not super lifted like this, this may be a good budget option just to get it up off the ground uh, so you can get jack stands under it. And then if you want really quick action, the airbag style might be a good option. All right, guys, so as you saw, these two jacks are probably great options for like working on stuff in your driveway and things like that. Or if you just have a lower rig that's not quite as big as mine on 35s with four inches of lift. Um, so if it can reach the frame, the airbag type is going to be really quick, but then you're going to want to use jack stands with both of these, honestly. The bottle jack will definitely get higher, but watch that metal tip on it. Just be careful with it. Make sure that you put jack stands under with that as well. Um, but so hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea. You've seen them in action now uh, on both these jacks. I will put links in the description down below. So if you want to buy one, you can click through those links and get one. There will be a discount code down there too to save you a couple bucks. Um, if you haven't already, click subscribe. Click the bell to be notified when new videos drop. I do a couple every week, a lot of gear reviews and things like that. So if you're into that stuff, definitely click subscribe. Otherwise, there are links to my other social channels in the description down below too. So come hang out wherever you want. Uh, but thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.